Yeah. Now this video right here is obviously not the normal type of video that you're gonna find on this channel, but I thought, you know, there, this has got to be, this has got to be a universal thing that a lot of people deal with whenever they're trying to purchase computer accessories or office accessories. So I was like, let me just make a video on it. If the video does well, then cool. That means I helped a lot of people. If it does well enough, maybe I'll do like Amazon product reviews or something on the channel as like a subcategory. But either way, I digress. Now for people that have been around the channel they know that i just basically got a brand new desk set up with a new brand new like specked out pc we're gonna start streaming we got dual monitors got a new debt like literally everything is brand new because i am jumping into a new type of content which is streaming over on twitch if you're someone who likes to follow streams hit the follow on my twitch i promise it's gonna be a great time having said all that one of the biggest things that i was hyped for was the dual monitor setup not just for stream but also for editing video and youtube videos and things like this the only issue with having a dual monitor setup that doesn't have monitor arms is that the bases, the foundations of the monitors, they take a lot of real estate on your desk. I have a 60 inch desk and it's maybe like two and a half. I was going to say maybe three feet, but I don't even think it's close to three feet. I think it's closer to two and a half and having two 27 inch monitors on their bases, it, it shrinks the amount of real estate that I can use on my desk by like, by frankly, an annoying amount. Now in comes the dilemma of having to purchase monitor arms. I have never never owned a desktop PC before. And boy, let me tell you, as I started searching, these things can cost hundreds of dollars. And I was like, nah, I just blew thousands on the PC. I, I don't need a, I don't need a $400 monitor arm setup. And everywhere that I was looking was like always showing me the cream of the crop monitor arms. And I'm like, nah, what I'm gonna do is let me go to Amazon and let me see if I can find the cheapest monitor arms that I can find with the best rating. Cause that's basically my life is trying to get the best thing possible, but balling on a budget. You know what I'm talking about? So my mind was prepped by like $200, $250 per arm monitor arms. And then I go to Amazon and I just search basic term monitor arms. And the first two that pop up are like 30 bucks. And I'm like, this is why Amazon is on top of the game. So I'm like, look, and I'm like, there's no what? There's no way that these arms are $30 when everything that I had seen prior for quality, at least was over the $200 price point. And I and I and I go, I click the reviews, as you can see, like 45, 4300 reviews, like 4.8 stars. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and spend the 60 bucks for two arms. Let me, what's $60 in the grand scheme of things if the, if the arms are, if the arms are terrible, if the arms are terrible, then I'll just return them and I guess I'll just have to fork out the money. I have no choice at that point. So I really had nothing to lose. And boy, let me tell you, was I surprised by these monitor arms. The next six minutes of the video are gonna be about three weeks ago when I was actually installing the arms with a little bit of, with a little bit of voiceover so I can kind of guide you through my thought process as I was doing it. But yo, yeah, mind blown by the quality of these $30 arms. As you can see, the brand of mount is mount up. I bought two of them and the total for both was just over $60 and they were eligible for prime shipping. Now, when we open the box inside, it comes with the mounting bracket, two different sets of mounting hardware with required Allen wrenches. And I will get to that in a second. Various nuts, washers, and plastic risers. And lastly, the arm itself. The quality of the arm is very nice itself with all load bearing pieces being metal and plastic being reserved for cable management and aesthetic design. As you can expect, it comes with the installation manual and this is it. And on the front, there are two installation methods. On the left is clamp style and on the right is a permanent drill into the desk. We are gonna be doing the clamp. I pause the video right here just to give praise to Mount Up for the fact that they even included two installation methods. For this price, I automatically assumed that I was only gonna get the clamp style as the mounting option because that's how most people will install. So the fact that they slightly cut into profit margin by giving you two sets of different hardware so you can install whichever preference you desire, I think that I think that's crazy for the $30 price point. Now, next, I'll just give you a quick time lapse of me prepping my desk for install.
As you can see, I did step one off a of camera, which is to screw the back bracket to the foundation of the arm. The bracket is a thick steel and the triangular screw placement makes for a very secure holding to the foundation. Next is to install the piece that holds the arm to the table under tension. As I point out, you have two installation options depending on the thickness of your desk. I incorrectly chose the thinner desk option and I'll get to that in a second. Again, all necessary equipment for this step has been provided. Now the reason I say that I chose the wrong mounting option in terms of thickness, even though my desktop is relatively thin, the part of the hardware that I am pointing at with this arrow keeps the desk from being fully seated to the very back of the mount. There was plenty of clearance for the clamp, but it just kept it from being fully back, so I just moved it down to the next one, no big deal, and that alleviated that problem. Also, while I have the video paused here, I want to point out that every piece that touches your desk is padded on the top and the bottom. Again, a detail that you don't expect for $30. Next is sliding the mount into place from the back my desktop and tighten it as much as possible. You can see here what I meant when I said that the mount could not sit flush all the way to the back of the desktop. I fixed it, it was a very easy fix and I just did it off camera. Now one thing to note and you can see is that my desk is a full desk mouse pad top from Eureka. I'll actually leave a card in the top right hand corner if you want to check out that review if you want to see what desk I have. And I was worried about how strong the hold would be, but it held perfectly. I thought that the spongy nature of the mouse pad was going to stop it from grabbing and getting the tension that it needs, but there was no issue whatsoever. Next is installing the mounting hardware to the back of the monitor. My monitors are 27 inch gigabyte gaming monitors and fall well under the 22 pound limit of the arm. First step is obviously to take the stand off, then replacing the stand with the arm bracket hardware with the protruding part facing up. As you can see here from my install, the screws fully tightened were too long and allowed the bracket to move. The manual says that the plastic spacers that it came with were for curved monitor installations, but I figured they should work here, and you can see they did. Next is as simple as sliding the monitor into place and screwing down. This part of the process is the first time that I thought the installation hardware could have been slightly better. The screw holds just fine, the only issue is that it has to be tightened by hand. I think that being tightened with an Allen wrench, I would have been more confident in the hold. And that is it for installing the monitor, next is the fine tuning of the arm. These bolts adjust the tension that holds the monitor upright, too loose and it falls, and too tight and it's too hard to adjust when needing to adjust. Next I cut the zip tie. Do not cut the zip tie until this step. There is heavy tension in the arm and without the weight of the monitor in place, if you cut the zip tie too soon, it can pop up and hit you in the face. As you can see here, there is clearly not enough Enough strength to hold up the monitor. At this step, I manipulate the bolt that either strengthens or weakens the pressure of the tension in the arm until it is able to hold the monitor in one spot. This part right here is actually confusing to people buying this because it is counterintuitive. On this bolt, to loosen the tension, you turn clockwise, and to tighten the tension, you turn counterclockwise. I feel like most of the complaining in the reviews came from this step, but I mean, it's really not that big a deal if you're an adult that can read words or pictographs. This entire process took about three minutes. Next is the cable management channels. Again, this portion of the arm is plastic, but the plastic snaps sturdily into place. The fact it's plastic really didn't matter to me. It's still only $30 and looks nicer than most other options at this price point. And as you can see, that's about it. The monitor fully extends out and holds. The whole arm takes up only about three inches of space behind the desk when fully collapsed. Had I not been recording this video, the whole process might have taken me maybe 25 minutes. And I can say that confidently because I installed the second arm off camera and it took me roughly 25 minutes. Now, obviously, as you can see by that video, I was, I was flabbergasted by the quality of these things. Both arms have been set up and me recording this right here is about three, three and a half weeks later have had zero issues. I forgot to mention that you, you can technically stand one monitor vertical. I don't believe you could just straight up rotate it. I think you have to set the mounting bracket in a 90 degree at a 90, 90 degree angle. So that way it stands straight up because I don't think you can fully rotate. But well, how many times are you just going to be rotating your monitor 360 degrees? You know, you're going to set it and forget it. Really, the only reason why I would 
would think you would want different arms than the ones that I found is because you want a different aesthetic. You want all metal, including the including the receivers for the cables, or mainly because you have a crazy heavy monitor. Maybe you have like a 42 inch ultra wide or something like that, where one arm is needed to carry the entire weight of the of the monitor. But other than that, I really don't see any other reason why you would need a crazy expensive monitor arm. All in all, I'll leave the link in the description for these arms. Obviously, the company is Mount Up. I'm sure you can order it directly through them or you can order it through Amazon. I don't even know if I'm an affiliate. I remember signing up at one point, but I never used it. So the, the link might help me a little bit, but that's not why I'm doing it. I want you to avoid paying crazy exorbitant amount of money for arms when you can just pay 30 bucks, you know? But that's really all that I got to say. Tell me if you like this type of video. Maybe I'll post more things like this. This isn't my normal type of video, but either way, I'm down to do product reviews, you know? All right, everybody. I appreciate it if you made it this far. This is the end of the video and peace.